The DevExpress grid control allows you to implement custom aggregate functions to calculate total and group summaries. In this video, you'll create a total summary which is calculated using values from two different fields. You'll also implement a custom group summary to calculate the number of records that have the discontinued field value set to true. Let's start with a grid control that doesn't have any summaries. First, enable the view footer, expand the options view property, and turn on the show footer option. After that, select the unit price column, expand its summary item property, and set summary type to custom. Let's customize text formatting using the display format property. Additionally, set the tag property to 1. This value will be used to identify this summary item in code. Now create a new group summary. Invoke the grid designer, switch to the group summary items page, and add a new item. Specify text formatting, set the field name property to discontinued, the summary item property to custom, and the tag property to 2. Let's go to the code view and declare two variables that will store summary values. To implement the summary calculation algorithm, handle the view's custom summary calculate event. In the event handler, use the tag property to identify summary items. To allow you to initialize summary start values, the custom summary calculate event is first raised with the summary process parameter set to start. At this stage, you can reset the counter of discontinued products and variable that will calculate the total price of all products in stock. Then, the custom summary calculate event fires for each data row in the view or in a group with the summary process parameter set to calculate. This is where you can accumulate your summary values. The currently processed row and field value are specified by the event's row handle and field value parameters. For the total summary, you need to multiply a product's unit price by units in stock and add the result to the previous total price. For the group summary, increase the counter provided that a product is discontinued. The custom summary calculate event is raised one more time after processing all rows, and now the summary process parameter is set to finalize. At this stage, finalize the summary calculation and assign the summary value to the event's total value parameter. And let's run the application to see the result. The views footer cell under the unit price column displays the summary calculated against two fields at once. Now group the grid data by the category column. Group rows display the number of discontinued products in each group. And that's it for summaries. Thanks for watching and thank you for choosing DevExpress.